Hi, Michael Butler here at Macworld 2012. I'm with a very great looking company. This company is called MyFC. And what's cool about this thing, I think, is you can charge your iPhone or iPad with water. Hi, what's your name, sir? Hi, I'm Graham and... How are you doing, Graham? I'm doing great. I'm here to talk about... You asked me how I'm doing. How are you doing, Michael? I'm super great. Couldn't be better. Thanks Super's for asking. Great. So he what are you showing us right now? So this is a fuel cell. It's a... It's the only fuel cell that I know of that you can hold in the palm of your hand. But basically, this fuel cell takes water and, well, it takes H2O of, of so whatever. So if cell. I have my phone here and it's dead, right. I carry this around with me and I just put water in it and it, autom and it immediately you, powers this thing up? Within about 10 seconds. Wow. So you put water in here, about a tablespoon of water. You close that and you pressurize it. Does it matter it. if the water is hot or cold? No, it doesn't What about matter. beer or something? Yeah, like I think that. so. Uh, beer would work? H2O. It has to be water. It has to be, well, it has to contain water. Oh, okay. If it's got other stuff in it, I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to tell you what to use or what not okay. to use, but the requirement is H2O. So, and only about a tablespoon. So it's pretty easy to come up with a tablespoon of water. I think we could do it a number of different ways. Um, so, tablespoon of water there. The other requirement is a catalyst. So, we have to somehow extract the hydrogen from the H2O, right? Which means that we we use a, a chemical reaction, a process, uh, a chemical called sodium silicide, which looks like gravel. So imagine that there's a, a can of gravel inside this can. Over here we have that pressurized water. When I push the can down onto that needle, it's like a sprinkler effect inside the can. It irrigates the gravel for, I mean, to... For, Did you invent this? No, no. Uh, this, is, this is way smarter than I am. But I like talking about uh, you wet gravel, so that's what we're doing. We take the water, we irrigate the gravel. What it does, that, that gravel is like, if you think about it like a desiccant, it wants to take that wet liquid, remove the oxygen, and form a solid. The solid is an inert mineral known as sodium silicate. Sodium silicate is commonly found in sand. You also find it in your everyday so, toothpaste. That looks amazing. So how long will it take me to charge my, how much How much can I charge my phone on this one, so, one two tablespoons of water? Well, two table, one or tablespoon liquid. of water or liquid uh, gives you enough power for about two iPhone charges. Wow, how long does it take to charge it? Well, so one iPhone, the first one takes a couple hours, at uh -huh. least mine does, and then the other one is on demand. Press a button and then begin the second charge process. That is amazing. How much does this cost? Retails for $229. Very nice. How can we find more about this amazing product? Uh, MyFC.com is a good place to go, or here in the United States, if you want to know where to buy it, you can go to industrialrev.com. Selling them here on the show floor? No, we're not. All right, what's your name again? It's Graham. Graham. My name's Michael. Nice to meet you. Thanks, Michael. Nice to meet you, too. Michael Butler here from Macworld. Where are we? Macworld 2012. 13. Oh, 2013. That's right. You know what year this is? Uh, 2012. You just exactly. told me. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's 2013. I'm, we're both wrong. Oh. Right, thanks. Thank you.